Hello guys. Welcome back. This is Shazex, and today we'll be showing you the top 2 attack strategies that you can perform easily without any heroes and can earn easy triples. So make sure you watch this video till the end to know about these strategies and executions, and the army combinations will be shown at the end of every attack. And let's get started after a small intro. Look at this base. We will clear with go wipe attack strategy without using any heroes. The basics of this strategy are simple. We will drop two golems like this on one side of the base, followed by the pekkas and wizards. They will clear the outside buildings and create the funnel. In the meantime we will drop all our four skeleton spells on the queen and CC side to distract them. The skeletons will eventually take the queen down. And when Pekkas and Hogs will clear the first compartment of the base, then we will release our Hogs from the CC. We will use the Rage and Heal spells accordingly on the Hogs. And the Jump spell should be used on the Pekkas. Now let me show you the reply. So first we will drop two Golems like this. Then two Pekkas behind each Golems, and now the Wizards. They will start cleaning the outer buildings. Enemy CC troops and Queen started to hit our troops, so we will deploy all the Skeletons spells. Meanwhile we will deploy a couple of wall breakers to pave a way for our troops. The wizards will take the enemy CC down. Not a big deal. CC troops have been deployed. Now we will deploy the jump spell here, so that some of the pekkas go on that side. The skeleton's spells should not be dropped in a bunch like this. They should be dropped at different defenses compartments, so that the defenses get busy, and meanwhile the hogs can take the defenses out. But as there were defenses at 6 o'clock, that's why I used all of them at the queen and CC side. Guys make sure the pekkas don't die. You need to push them to the core of the base. We're doing well, the base looks crushed already. One of our golems got stuck on the wall, but it didn't affect the overall performance. Take a look at the pekka on this side, it took some insane value on this base. With the help of some wizards, they cleared this entire area and are still going strong. That's why I said it's important to use two pekkas on the flanks with wizards. Check the time, this base got humiliated right here. While the pekkas golems tanks, the wizards behind them start destroying the defenses. This is how you can make sure you have a perfect 3 stars. If you are not able to execute this strategy according to the plan that I said above, then I'm very sorry as it is very hard to triple bases with this strategy without heroes. It took me a long practice to triple th9 bases with these strategies. And the next strategy might be more beneficial for you because you can triple most of the th9 bases. This strategy works best for open type bases, where the core is open much. Guys make sure you practice 2 to 3 times before you jump into the battlefield. Attack from a side which gives maximum value with jump spells, but it all depends on the base design. In some bases, you might have to face the heroes early. Let's finish this off and move to the next attack. And here's the army combination. At number 1 we have the go at your witch slap attack strategy. One of the strongest th9 attack strategies. It is preferable to go with the queen's side. So first we will drop 3 golems like this. Then the line of witches. When the funnelings will be done then we will drop the wall breakers in the process and then the bowlers from the cc. You need to make sure that the main troops get inside the base anyhow. And when enemy CC troops emerge, we will use the poison spell. We will keep using the rage and heal spells on the bowlers to keep them going strong until the base is crushed down. And the jump spell should be used on the second layer of walls, otherwise there's a chance of losing the attack. And now let me show you how I tripled this base. As depicted, we've placed golems, witches, followed by wall breakers. Now we will use the bowlers from CC. Make sure the trash buildings get cleared first, otherwise there's a chance of bowlers moving outside the base. Now we will use the jump spell to open the second layer of the wall. Enemy CC troops and queen are all together so we will use the poison spell here. The golems are going inside the base, and the bowlers are also inside, that's why we've used the rage and heal spell together. Now they will clear the whole section in just a few seconds. Now the golems are tanking for the bowlers. The enemy queen and the expo are targeting our bowlers, so we will use the remaining freeze spell on them. The rest of the spells should be used upon the bowlers, as they're the backbone of your attack. I've made two dedicated videos on this in my channel. 
And also I've got top 4 th9 attack strategies compilations on my channel. You can find these 3 videos on my channel or I'll leave them on the iCard. And if you have any queries till now you can always ask me in the comments. We're heading to a perfect 3 stars. As you can see now the base is in our hands. Guys if you want the classic witch slap version then let me know in the comments, I'll make another video on that. And I've got more th9 videos on my channel. Feel free to check them out after you finish this video. And yes, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe and turn on the bell notification, as it inspires me a lot to make new videos for you. Don't worry if your first attempts aren't perfect. Keep practicing witch slap and try different strategies until you find what works best for you. Learn from your mistakes and keep improving. Even if things don't go as planned, don't give up. Stay positive and keep trying. With practice and determination, you'll become a master at witch slap in no time. While the standard witch slap composition works well for many situations, don't be afraid to experiment with different group compositions and variations. For example, you might try adding in a few additional wizards or minions to complement your witches and provide additional firepower. Clash of Clans is constantly evolving, with new updates and balance changes regularly introduced. Stay informed about any changes that may affect the witch slap strategy, and be prepared to adjust your approach accordingly. So guys, let me know if you have any questions, and here's the army combination. Here's some important tips and tricks regarding this. You can skip this part if you want. At Town Hall 9, without access to heroes, your troop selection becomes crucial. Commonly used compositions include Goop, Mass Dragons, Lavaloon, and Hog Riders. Choose a composition that suits your playstyle and the base you're attacking. Before launching your attack, carefully scout the base to identify potential weaknesses, such as exposed air defenses, poorly placed splash damage defenses, or centralized clan castle troops. Look for possible entry points and paths for your troops to reach the core of the base. Creating a funnel is essential for directing your troops towards the core of the base. Use a few troops to clear out buildings on the sides of your intended entry point. This will prevent your main attacking force from wandering around the base. Without heroes to rely on for high damage output, spells become even more critical. For ground attacks like go up, bring rage spells to boost your troops' damage output, along with heal spells to keep them alive longer. For air attacks, use rage spells to accelerate your balloons or dragons towards the core of the base. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Till then stay safe. Stay beautiful. Peace.